In this video, I will demonstrate how to paint an orange in acrylics using only the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue plus white. The materials list includes red, yellow, blue, and white acrylic paints. I'm using inexpensive bulk acrylics, but any type of acrylic paint will do. A drawing board, drawing paper, masking tape, and a pencil. Washable paint trays, a flat nylon brush, a water container and paper towel or cloth, a real or fake orange, and a clip light or other light source. First I tape down the edges of my paper to the drawing board to keep it from moving and warping while I paint. Next I render a light contour drawing of my subject on the paper. I draw the outer edges of the object. I also lightly sketch the cast shadow and a horizon line between the back edge of the table and the background, and any important details. Now it's time to pre-mix the colors needed to paint the orange. The first color is pure white. The next is white plus yellow and a dab of red. The third is yellow plus a dab of red. Fourth is yellow plus some red and a dab of blue. Fifth is yellow, red, and blue in almost equal amounts. Last, I mix yellow with a dab of blue and a bit of red and a bit of white for the greenish parts of the orange. Pre-mixing is very important because it simplifies the painting process and allows me to paint more rapidly so that wet paint can blend together more easily. Here is a breakdown of the colors I mixed. This is how they match up with the colors in the subject. Now let's paint. I start by dabbing or scumbling the highlight area with pure white. Next I apply the high key orange around the highlights and into the light areas of the subject. I use a dabbing technique to blend this around the highlights. This helps create the texture of the orange. Next I dab in the middle key orange color around the one I just applied. I add the low key orange color in the center of the subject where the core of the shadow can be seen. I also use this as the shadow around the stem of the orange. Next I dab the darkest color in the core of the shadow to emphasize the roundness of the orange. I use the lighter colors to blend the edges a bit. Then I paint in the greenish areas around the stem, blending it with the surrounding colors. Last, I use this color plus the darkest colors to refine the shadows and textures at the end of the orange.
Now it's time to pre-mix my colors for the background. The first color is pure white. The second color is white plus some yellow, a dab of red, and just a tiny bit of blue. Third is white plus yellow plus a dab of red and a dab of blue. These first three colors are for the tabletop the subject is sitting on. Fourth is blue, red, and yellow in almost equal amounts plus a dab of white. Last is blue plus some red and yellow. These last two colors will be used for the background and cast shadow. Here's a breakdown of the colors I mixed. Here's how they correspond to the background, tabletop, and cast shadow. Okay, time to finish the painting. I start by adding some white along the right side of the orange and on the left side up near the horizon line. Around this I add my second color and blend it with the white. As I work toward the left with this color, I add in some of the middle key table color in the lower part of the painting. Now I finish the left side of the tabletop near the horizon line using the two lightest colors. Then I soften the horizon line by blending the middle value color along its edge. Now it's time to paint the dark background. I scumble in the lighter of the two darkest colors along the left side of the horizon line, blending it with the lighter table colors. Then I begin to add the darkest color around the top of the orange and work outward, filling the upper left of the background. Then I use the lighter background color to finish the upper right of the painting. I finish the background by softening the right side of the horizon line. Now it's time to paint the cast shadow. I dab the middle key color into an area of reflected light in the cast shadow. Around this, I add the next darkest color and blend it with the surrounding colors. I use this color for most of the cast shadow. Up against the bottom of the orange, I dab in the darkest color, blending it into the rest of the cast shadow. I 
I notice an area of orange reflected into the cast shadow. Using the colors I mixed earlier, I work some of this into the cast shadow. After a few little adjustments, the painting is finished. Now I carefully remove the tape from the painting, being sure to pull away from the image so I don't accidentally tear into it. And that's one way to paint an orange using the primary colors and white. I hope this demonstration helps you paint your own fantastic artwork. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.